County, it's life in prison for a man accused of murdering his girlfriend and their baby. The incident happened back in 2015. Today, Sebastian Mendez entered a plea for two counts of first degree murder. WNCT's Elizabeth Tu was in the courtroom and spoke with the family. Shawan Lu's mother spoke in tears in the courtroom today about the loss of her daughter, her only child, and her grandson, and how it will affect her for the rest of her life. It was an emotional day on both sides of the courtroom as Sebastian Mendez pled guilty to murdering Shawan Lu and their five month old son, Archer. On July 18, 2015, deputies responded to Lu's home in Midway Park, where they found Mendez with a knife in his lower back. He blamed Lu at the time, but deputies later found her car 300 yards down the road with her body inside a suitcase on the passenger side. Archer's body was also found in a suitcase but in the attic. Autopsy reports showed Lou died of strangulation and her baby of suffocation. Family members on both sides of the courtroom cried out during Tuesday's plea. The state was originally seeking the death penalty for Mendez. Very important because this case demanded a very, very lengthy sentence, and he will serve in prison for the rest of his life. That's where he deserves to be. Lou was an only child, and her mother spoke through an interpreter in court today about how the loss deeply affects her. Lou was a realtor in Jacksonville, and her only wish was to be able to afford to bring her parents to the United States. This loss is more than just two victims. It's far-reaching. It's uh, the defendant's family will suffer for many, many years and of course, Schwann and Archer's family. Mendez will also serve time for solicitation to commit murder of one of the state's witnesses. All of his sentences will be consecutive. In Onso County, Elizabeth Tew, none on your side.